morning everyone. Welcome once more to my home here in Bomoris on the island of Anglesey. You are very welcome and as we come together we hold in our hearts all those who we love, all those who've asked us to pray for them, all those in need in the world. We begin our time of prayer together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God of faithfulness, God ever new. As this new day, new week, new year even, begins, and brings new projects and possibilities. We are in need of energy and renewed hope. Wondering what change we are able to affect by our words, our actions and our prayer. We need your grace to guide our hearts we need the power of your Son to rekindle and sustain our passion. We need the wisdom of your Spirit to see the ever-present possibility for change and conversion, for growth and transformation. Give us eyes of faith that we might see the wonders in our midst, that we might have the courage to hope. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark. The scribes who had come down from Jerusalem were saying, Beelzebub, is in him and it is through the prince of devils that he cast devils out so jesus called them to him and spoke to them in parables how can satan cast out satan if a kingdom is divided against itself that kingdom cannot last and if a household is divided against itself, that household can never stand. Now, if Satan has rebelled against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. It is the end of him. But no one can make his way into a strong man's house and burgle his property unless he has tied up the strong man first. Only then can he burgle his house. I tell you solemnly, all men's sins will be forgiven and all their blasphemies. But let anyone blaspheme against the Holy Spirit and he will never have forgiveness. He is guilty of an eternal sin. This was because they were saying, an unclean spirit is in him. <clears throat> A house that is divided cannot stand. We are in the octave of Christian unity. In today's Gospel, Jesus summarises our thinking in a very practical sort of way. A household divided, according to loyalties, cannot survive. Jesus describes loyalty to the Holy Spirit and rejection of Satan as the underpinnings of unity and surely 
all Christians believe in these. Our unity sees the goodness in others. Jesus died so that we may be united as brothers and sisters in the same family. Have we moved towards unity? When I was 11, I took the 11 plus scholarship and I moved to the local grammar school. I went from a Catholic primary school. When I got there, suddenly I found we Catholics were divided off. We didn't attend the daily assembly. We didn't attend scripture lessons. We were apart. In those days, I remember having to ask permission even to attend another church. So we have moved on. Now, here in Bomaris, we have a very vibrant group of Christians from all the churches and chapels. We are friends. We plan together. We have services together. We discuss together. We have fun together. We go in and out of our churches with no problems at all and are welcomed. We have come a long way. Maybe there's a long way to go again. But I pray that one day we will be united. The friendship I have with fellow Christians in my town have given me a depth of insight into lots of new thought. And above all, there is love. There is respect. There is friendship. We can discuss and enrich our lives by being together. I'd like to end our morning prayer this morning with uh, a prayer that's at the end of Pope Francis's encyclical Fratelli Tutti. O oh God, Trinity of Love, from the profound communion of your divine life, pour out upon us a torrent of love. Grant that the love reflected in the actions of Jesus in the family of Nazareth and in the early Christian community. Grant that we Christians may live the gospel discovering Christ in each human being, recognising him crucified in the sufferings of the abandoned and forgotten of our world, and risen in each brother or sister who makes a new start. Come Holy Spirit, show us your beauty, reflected in all the peoples of the earth, so that we may discover anew that all are important and all are necessary. Different faces in one humanity that God so loves. Amen. I hope we all have a blessed day. Thank you for joining me this morning. God bless.